Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be looking at how to find the range of prices under which trade is possible given the production possibilities of two economic agents. So I'm going to look at an example which considers Mary and Marcos who can either make apples or oranges. Now the numbers in the table here are going to represent the production possibilities for Mary and Marcos, so the maximum amount of either apples or oranges that each could produce if they diverted all of their resources towards the production of that fruit. So let's say that Mary at most can make two apples or three oranges. Marcos at most can make four apples or two oranges. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to find out who, if anyone, has the comparative advantage in the production of what good. So recall that an agent has a comparative advantage in the production of some good if that person has a lower opportunity cost. So our first step here is to find the opportunity cost for our agents. If you know how to do this next step, you can skip the next part of the video. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and do this now quickly. All right, let's take Mary first. If Mary makes two apples, she essentially gives up making three oranges, right? Because she's spending all of her resources making apples and no resources on oranges. Dividing both sides by two here, we see that Mary gives up three over two or one and a half oranges for one apple. Thinking about oranges, since she gives up two apples to make three oranges, dividing both sides by three, we can understand Mary gives up two thirds of an apple for one orange. For Marcos, well, he can either make four apples at most or two oranges. Dividing both sides by four, we see that for every one apple he produces, he gives up half an orange. Switching sides, we see that for every one orange, Marcos gives up two apples. So if you're confused by what I just did, I have another video on finding opportunity costs that goes through this process in a slower fashion. I'll link to it below uh, or it'll be in one of the corners here. Okay, good. So now we can think about comparative advantage. So we see here that actually Mary has the comparative advantage in the production of oranges since when she makes one orange, her opportunity cost is two thirds of an apple while Marcos gives up two whole apples. Two thirds is less than two, so Mary has the lower opportunity cost here. Marcos, on the other hand, has the comparative advantage in the production of apples, since he only gives up half an orange every time he makes an apple, while Mary gives up 1.5 oranges every time she makes an apple. Half is less than 1.5 or 3 over 2, so Marcos has a lower opportunity cost. All right, so now we have our comparative advantages, we can start thinking about trade. In terms of the direction of trade, it's important to note that if trade occurs, each agent will sell those goods in which they have a comparative advantage, and each agent will buy those goods for which they have a comparative disadvantage. In our example here, we can see that Mary has a comparative advantage in the production of oranges. So she's going to sell oranges to Marcos if they trade. And she has a comparative disadvantage in the production of apples. So she's going to buy them from Marcos if they do trade. Marcos, on the other hand, is going to sell apples to Mary because he has the comparative advantage in the production of apples. And he's going to buy oranges from Mary if they do trade because he has a comparative disadvantage in the production of oranges. There is a sense in our example here that the trade between Mary and Marcos, if they do go ahead and trade, is going to consist of swapping of oranges for apples and apples for oranges. This brings us to an important point. We can understand prices in this market as telling us the rate at which we swap between these goods. So this might seem confusing, but let's have a look at our example. And we can look at Mary first. If trade happens, Mary is going to be selling oranges. If we look at her opportunity cost, we see that when she makes one orange, she gives up two thirds of an apple. And so if Mary is going to sell oranges for apples, the minimum price that she would accept for oranges in terms of apples 
is two thirds of an apple per orange. If we think about it, if the price per orange was any lower in terms of apples, Mary wouldn't even be covering her cost of production if she indeed sold to Marcos at those prices. On the other hand, again, if they trade, Mary will be buying apples from Marcos. Looking at her opportunity cost of producing apples, we see that Mary can make one apple on her own by giving up 1.5 oranges. It follows that the maximum that she would be willing to pay for one apple is 1.5 oranges. If the price was any higher, it would be cheaper for her to simply produce an apple herself. So let's look at Marcos. If trade occurs, Marcos will be selling apples. In order for Marcos to make one apple, he gives up half an orange. So the minimum price of an apple that he would accept is half of an orange. If the price was any lower, he would not engage in trade. So lastly, Marcos is going to buy oranges if they trade. For Marcos to make one orange, it costs him two apples. So in order for trade to occur, the price of oranges cannot be more than two apples. Otherwise, Marcos would just do better producing oranges at home for himself and just giving up two apples. And that's it. So just to recap what I've done, I first had a look at our comparative advantage, which told us about the direction of the trade. Individuals, if they do trade, are going to sell those goods in which they have the comparative advantage and buy those goods in which they have a comparative disadvantage. Once I understood the direction of trade, I could have a look and figure out the minimum and maximum prices that each individual would be willing to accept given their opportunity cost of production for each good. And that's it. I hope that helped. If it did, please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. I hope you guys are having fun studying economics. Stay safe. See you around.